day. And while the flash flooding in Fountain Creek didn't physically affect Highway 24 directly, the threat did indirectly. Yeah, CDOT shut down the highway twice this afternoon. Caradio News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala asked the question why after millions of dollars have been spent to ease the flood risks. James and Heather, Highway 24 is back open again and traffic is running smoothly, but I want to imagine something for just a moment. Let's say that a dart is a thunderstorm, the dartboard, the burn scar. You can see there have been a lot of misses this summer, including today, but what CDOT is worried about is for that one thunderstorm to hit a bullseye, and that means that debris and flood water will come down onto Highway 24, possibly hurting someone. If there was a way to understate yet explain the flash flood in Green Mountain Falls. I mean, it got, it got real there for a second. Real is scary for Brock Osborne and his neighbor Angel Perez and for more than just a second. Went from just like this and maybe 20 minutes, it was, it was completely, everything was underwater. Including their backyards. Probably, it probably came up to my knee, about, about, about here. Fountain Creek was higher in Perez's backyard than it usually is in its bed. A great example of just how powerful this flash flood was. That boulder wasn't even in sight before the flood. And it was all downhill from here. Thank you. Highway 24 was closed twice at Cave of the Winds because of flash flood warnings. The second time, minutes after the first warning was lifted, which caused chaos as cars flooded the highway, expecting to be able to get through. At one point, stopped cars stretched for nearly four miles on Highway 24, and there were backups on Colorado Avenue, too. I have been watching chaos. I've been watching cars threatening to run the police officers over. Uh, it's a little bit of insanity is what it is. Patients running low even though the creeks were running high. But I would just ask that they be patient and, and just try to understand that it's for their safety. Millions have been spent on flood mitigation projects including this box culvert underneath Highway 24. But Waldo Canyon isn't the only spot CDOT is worried about when the rain is heavy. It's the unpredictability of nature that makes this response we gotta go. we, we, we gotta clear the highway. so predictable. And CDOT has indicated that there is a small possibility in the near future that they could ease up on closing Highway 24 every time that there is a flash flood warning, although they're not ready to do that just yet. Live in El Paso County, Jonathan Petromala, KRDO News Channel 13.